All right, this is the ritual we doing. We about to enter the gates. We about to walk through the gates. Let me show you. We about to walk through the gates. I want you to leave everything that you was doing today outside of these gates. I want you to come in this today's classroom setting with a clear mind. Empty your mind from everything that you was doing at work. Picking up your children from the daycare, your husband, your girlfriend, your wife. Forget about all that stuff. It's class time. It's been a few days. Summer is almost over. And it's time to go to work. This is left side of the brain. Let me go ahead and get all of the preliminary stuff out of the way. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the likes button. And at the end of this video, I'm going to leave all of that stuff in the description. I like to start out every video with a greeting. How how are you all doing? How was your day? Good. I know you said good. Okay. It's time to walk through the gates of wisdom. Today we are coming at you live from the waterfalls. I'm out here in nature again. Beautiful setting. Beautiful setting. And I think I will record right here. I got the basketball court in the backdrop. Can y'all hear me good? Can y'all hear me good? Well, you're gonna have to do the best you can. Yeah, I took a few days off from recording. I had to get a lot of things done. You know, I also work for myself. So I, I have to make sure that, you know, my business doesn't, doesn't fall off and everything. And I've been in the process of doing a lot of video editing. I've been uh, working on the book. So I'm um, doing a lot of research and yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been very busy um, planning a vacation. Um, yeah, I'm planning a vacation sometime the first week in September. It'll be during the first part of September and you all will know about it because I'm going to come at you live from wherever I go. So just stay tuned for that. But anyway. Greetings everybody, this is Left Side of the Brain. If this is your first time, welcome to my venue. Welcome to the classroom. Hopefully, you will stay with us. Hopefully, we'll get to know you in the comments section and everything. Because that's what we do. This is a family type setting. Everybody familiar with our channel and how we do. Today, I want to talk about a subject that's been on my mind. And as y'all know, we've been on a a deep topic. We've been on a deep topic binge for the last couple videos. And I want to keep that tempo up and I want to keep that energy up so we can finish the summer out strong. What I was thinking about was I'm a traveler. For those of you who don't know what a traveler is, I am a traveler. I am a wanderer. Did I, did I pronounce that correctly? Wanderer. I sound funny saying that. W-A-N-D-E-R-E-R. -E -E I wander. I'm a traveler and I wander. Okay? Now, what do you mean by you are a traveler? What I mean is the way I live. Well, let's run it down the list. What, what have we been talking about? Embracing loneliness. Living for yourself and not others. Egotism. Living outside of your egotism. Being more unconditional with everything that you do in your life. This is what we own right now. Okay? So another part of this series is cultivation of you. Through what? Through traveling. What are you talking about, left side of the brain? And y'all know I, I, it takes time for me to warm up in these videos. But you know by the time it ends, it's going to be very good. I am a traveler. I am the reflection of this universe itself. I am the reflection of how things operate. What is existence? I'm just going down the list of a lot of things that was in my mind. And I wrote a lot of notes. What is, what is existence? What do I mean by I'm a traveler? 
<laughs> so we're going to start off with what is existence? What is existence? Think about that. Who are you? What does it mean to exist? Okay. Is existence something that you can define? Or is it a state of being? And I narrowed it down to this. Existence is not necessarily something that you can define. More so, existence is a state of being. A state of being aware. And you don't even have to be aware of anything. Oh, what you mean you don't have to be aware of anything? You just said it's a state of awareness. But that awareness that I'm saying is you can be in a dark room all by yourself in complete silence. Not aware of anything in the room except yourself. That's what I'm talking about. And that ties right along with what we say about living for yourself and not others and embracing that selfishness. Okay? Existence is simply awareness of one's self. Not the objects in the room around you, not nobody else, not even the thoughts that's in your head. Aware of the darkness that's around you. When you take away everything, that's what existence is. You in a dark space. Just, just knowing that you are aware. Aware of what? Aware of nothing except you are aware. Simple as that. And what I'm doing is, I'm starting at this point because I'm bringing a point home. When I say... I am a traveler. You have to understand what I mean. When you, from your inception into this world, you started out in your mother's womb just aware. You was just a baby. You wasn't aware of anything, but you were aware. You came out into the world. You were so unfocused on, on nothing else. That you don't have a memory of the first three years of your life. Because you wasn't caught up in your ego or any of that. See, ego... Well, before I even jump to that. You wasn't even conscious of anything as far as ego. You wasn't, a conscious, you wasn't conscious of evil. You wasn't conscious of good. You was just aware that you were a child in existence. And because of that, only thing that you was operating off of was instinct. You was traveling and not even knowing that you was traveling. You didn't call any place home. You didn't know what home was. You didn't have no definition of home. Only thing you had a definition was, was awareness. You didn't even, you didn't even know that you had a grip on the definition of awareness. You was just awareness. You was just involuntarily existing. This is the best way I can explain it. Like, when you breathe, you're breathing right now. Until I said something about breathing, you was just breathing. Not thinking about it. Just breathing in the body. Not thinking about I'm breathing. You was just unconsciously aware that you was breathing. Your brain was aware of it. The, the subconscious of yourself was aware of it and focused on it and was keeping you breathing. But the you that's attached to the ego, that ego self, it was not aware that you was breathing. You wasn't even thinking about it until I said something about it. That's the point I'm making. Right now, you are traveling. Remember, at the start of this video, I was saying, I'm a, I'm a traveler. You traveling right now and not even aware that you are traveling. Right now, 
as I make this video, you are orbiting through space. Not even aware of it. Until I mentioned something about that, you wasn't thinking about orbiting in space. You wasn't thinking about that. But yet and still, it was taking place. What am I getting at, left side of the brain? This is what I'm getting at. This constant traveling, you have to, I'm telling you, so now you are aware of it. You have to live your life alongside the universe of travel. As it travels through space, you have to do the same thing with your life. You can't get stagnated on this spiritual journey. That's what I'm trying to bring home. You are a traveler since birth. You traveled from the spirit realm. You came into this world. And many times we get stagnated on certain levels. On certain levels of spiritual growth. On certain levels of understanding. It's called complacency. Okay? Once you, like I said in the other video... Once you start recognizing that you have that life wristwatch on and you become cognizant of the time in your life, I'm just adding to the program. I'm downloading a new program inside of you. That's what I'm doing on this channel. I'm brainwashing you. I'm trying to brainwash you from all of that complacency from all of that filth that this world has taught you and I'm trying to bring you up into a new you, a new evolved person because you have a soul. I'm bringing you out of that organic portal slave mentality. That's the purpose of summer semester. That's the purpose of this whole entire channel. Okay? So, just like you wasn't aware that you traveling right now and that you was breathing until I said something about it. The fact that I made it aware to you in your conscious mind, not only your subconscious mind, but because I brought it to the attention of your conscious mind, this will work to the advantage of you because now you can start being more conscious of your life wristwatch, remember? And you can be more conscious of the traveling you, that you are a traveler. And now you know that you can't waste your time. And as a traveler, you can't become stagnated. You see? I told you it's going to warm up. You can't become stagnated. And you have to continue to travel. You can't get stuck in one place in your life. You can't get stuck... Uh, going the same places every day You have to branch out Just how you grow from a child And you grew and you grew and you grew That's a form of traveling It's in your DNA to travel I'm a traveling man You a traveling man It's in your DNA to do that It's a part of your growth hormone. But if you let it lie dormant and you don't activate it, then you're going to stay in the same spot that you've been in since your childhood. That's being like an organic portal because they want to teach you just enough to get by and give you just enough to keep coming back to them. That's how you keep somebody in bondage. Yeah, I give them enough. And after he eat that, you know what? He gonna come right back to me. You see, everything I'm saying on this channel is just natural laws and principles. You see? Only thing they do, they use these natural laws and principles against us. This is how they do it. They sit down around the boardroom tables and they come up with strategies to rule the world. And what they do is they say things like this. The natural law and principle is to plant your own food and to harvest your own crops. What we're going to do, we're going to take society 
And we're going to breed them to not grow their own food and to harvest their own crops. And, and, alongside, and alongside us teaching them that, we're going to teach them that you have to work and depend upon the farmers under the FDA for your food. And we're going to give them enough money hourly, give them an hourly wage, wage, slave, see how it rhymes. We're going to give them an hourly wage and we're going to have them coming back feeding from our hands. You know why they, they got everybody under this type of slavery like this? Because you're not operating in universal principles. That's what this whole thing is about. I've been thinking. And one of those principles that we are not using is traveling. The more you travel, the more you learn about yourself, the more you learn about the world around you. Traveling also means reading up on different type of information, studying up, letting your mind travel into different subject matter, biology, oceanography, uh, 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 astronomy. That's what it means. Traveling, not staying, not staying stagnated. As you notice, everything, you get all your examples in the world that's around you. Does 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 not the ocean currents travel around the globe? The wind, it travels around the globe. They got air currents, they got water currents. The earth orbits around the sun. Everything constantly in travel mode. Except us. We stay in the same neighborhood our whole life. We're going against everything that nature is telling us. Nature is the sanctuary. And remember, we said, and I say we, I like to say we said because I look at this as a platform for all of us. So if I say it and it's right and exact and it resonates with you, then you said it. You said it and I said it. Remember we said that this is the sanctuary and that all communication doesn't necessarily have to be um, in the form of words coming out of a person's mouth, vocalization. Remember we said that? Yeah, I'm sticking to that. Just nature by itself is teaching you. When you see the birds migrating from north to south and south to north what are they doing they are teaching you they're teaching you travel everywhere you go you should be picking up information that's what it's about does not your soul travels when you separate from this body and that brings up another thing to mind. If I ask you, where were you? Could you really answer that question? I'm gonna give you five seconds to think about it. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? If you close your eyes right now, you can be aware of what you see behind your eyelids. But where are you behind your eyelids? Yeah, we getting deep. Time to redefine some stuff. Where are you behind your eyelids? Where are you at? You can't answer that. You know why? Because you're traveling. You're traveling through conscious space where time does not exist. You see, they've taught us that we are humans. They taught us that we are on planet Earth. They taught us that we are in a certain state where you reside. They just give names to things, but they really can't, a person really can't define where you at at this moment. Where are you right now? It's abstract. You probably didn't never think about that until I brought it up, but it's true. If somebody, 
put you in a spaceship. I'll, I'll even expound upon it further. If somebody put you in a spaceship, dropped you off in outer space, and you was just floating, where are you? You see? You will be up somewhere and you wouldn't even have a name for where you are. You could only say, I'm in space. You'll say, I'm lost in space. You know why you would say you lost? Let's walk, let's walk, let's walk. You will probably say, I'm lost in space. You know why you would say you lost? You will be going by your programming. And you will be going by the fact that you would have an unsettled mind. You would, you, have, you would have traveled off into the distance of space and you would say that you are lost because you would consider yourself... I'm trying to make a video right now, brother. What's good? No, no, I don't. Huh? No, I'm good. You good? Huh? Some money? Oh, no, no, I ain't got no money. You know what that was about. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, y'all see the, like, the last two videos I did, I, I have people walking up to me. You see them strange kind of people, they be walking up out of nowhere asking me, you know, asking me to have some $2 or something. I don't know, but let's just get back to the, um, let's just get back to the, um, let's get back to the program. You wouldn't know where you are. You would just say, I'm out in space. And you will probably be feeling um, afraid. But eventually, you would have to reconcile with the fact that you didn't know where you were. And at that moment of being so-called lost, that lost would, would turn to what? I'm at home now. That's what it would turn to. You would say to yourself, I'm at home now. So you would have to reconcile every thought in your mind. You would have to forget about your, your family, your kin, any priority you had the next day. You would have to reconcile with yourself that I am consciousness. And consciousness cannot be pinpointed to any certain place, time, or space. You would just have to come to grips with that. But why does it have to take a situation like that for you to have to come to grips with something like that? That's what this class is for. You see, you can avoid even having have you can avoid having to go through that because everything we go through is a lesson. You can avoid that lesson by just coming to terms with it now. Go ahead and accept that you don't know where you are right now. You are lost in space right now. You are just traveling right now. Only thing I'm doing right now, and I know this might be too deep for some people, I'm just breaking away a lot of those concepts that's been, you know, imprinted upon our consciousness that's been plugged into us, like time, space. I'm trying to get each and every one of you to start thinking more loosely, more loose. You know what I'm saying? Just be free. It's a part of being free. You see what I'm saying? When a baby comes into this world, it's just on a voyage. It's just on a mission. It don't know where it is. It has to be told that I'm here. This is your mom. This is your father. This is how much you weigh. When they, they, they give us all of these things to make us start thinking like we are human. So you, you stand on a scale, right? The scales say I'm 160 pounds. But are you really 160 pounds? Does a spirit and a soul have a weight to it? You see? But you start saying that you're 160 pounds, but you are not your body. That's just what you are trapped in right now at the moment. You see? So... You even got to start reprogramming how you think about that. When you when you measure yourself how tall you are, you might you might be used to saying I'm 5'10 or I'm 5'11. Like me, I'm I'm 5'10. You see? And you might say, "Well, I'm 5'9, I'm 5'10." You said I am 5'10 or 5'9. 
then you would turn around and tell me that my soul doesn't have a weight and I'm eternal, but you are measuring yourself into a finite being when you are infinite. That's all I'm saying. Changing up the way you think about stuff and even something on that small level that will begin to branch out on a greater scale. Like you might be doing a certain task, you know, and you be thinking like, I can't do this. I'm not strong enough to do this. When you start like implementing mental strategies, changing the way you look at things, thinking about it differently, then you will start saying to yourself, I'm superhuman. I can do anything. I'm a traveler. You can't you can't pinpoint me to a location because I'm a traveler. You can't tell me that I'm here. I'm everywhere. You will begin to take on that same mentality that God has. The same, the same attributes that we tag to the creator. All of those things that we tag to the creator, but we say that we are from the creator. We say that we have the same spirit and the soul. And we say all these things, but we think differently. We're thinking like humans. We're thinking with a human mind. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I think? Have you ever asked yourself that? Where does my thoughts come from? Do they come from a place? What place on the map, when you close your eyes and you be dreaming, what place on the map is that located? Remember I asked you, where do you, where, where, where are you at really? You really inside of your mind, traveling at all times. Tell me this, where in your mind are you located? Where in your mind are you located? Can you tell me that? When you dreaming at night, say if you dreaming that you in a, in, in a park or something, where, where was that park located? Is it on a map? You see, this whole life that we live, our whole entire consciousness is really, is really, is really nowhere to be found, if that makes sense. It's nowhere to be found. It's just, only thing you can say is, it's in me, it's in me, brother. It's in me, sister. That's the only thing you can really say. <laughs> like, my whole thing is this. I live inside of the world, but the world lives inside of me. When I be going through like, different situations, I say to myself, how I get over situations, I say to myself, the situation is happening, but it couldn't happen if I didn't exist. So therefore, the situation is a part of me, but at the same time, I don't want to be going through this situation, but the situation couldn't exist if I didn't exist. So therefore, the situation is me. Everything that you're going through in your life, only thing you can do is deal with it. But if you didn't exist, the situation wouldn't exist. So what does that mean? The situation is you. You the situation. If you if you in a, a bad relationship or something, you the bad relationship. How do I get out of the bad relationship? You got to figure that out. The relationship exists because you made a commitment to it. Is that not what we say? You marry a woman, why? You got comm you committed your life to spend the rest of your life with her. That commitment could not exist without you. That's right. Remember we said that darkness is all powerful and the sun and light itself needs something to validate it. Remember we said that? Light needs validation. It needs somebody to see it, to validate it, but darkness doesn't. Darkness doesn't need validation. There's no such thing as an artificial darkness. So with that being said, the same can be said for situations. It needs you to validate it. 
Pay it no attention, pay it no mind. You give energy to it when you pay it attention. You can kill everything inside of you. When you kill your ego, when you embrace this traveling, once you embrace this traveling mentality, you will be able to just drop certain people out of your life like this. They don't mean you no good. Because you will say to yourself, I'm a traveler. I'm not stagnated on you anyway. You get what I'm saying? You'll be like, I'm not caught up in my ego. I don't need you to validate me. I'm darkness. I don't need you to validate me. You see what I'm saying? Like, words on the pages, words on the pages of a book, it needs validation from light to show that there are words on the pages. You see? A dark room don't need something to shine on it to bring it light to say that dark exists. But light, it needs validation. The validation is darkness to validate light. Light can exist without darkness, but darkness don't need anything to exist. Just like water. You know, water don't need nothing. You need water. Darkness don't need anything to validate it. As a traveler, you don't need nobody's permission to cross the borders of your mind, to let your mind go wherever you want it, want it to go. You know, like in this landlocked prison environment that we live in, in order to travel, you gotta, you gotta talk to the border patrol. Oh, uh, how much is the toll? The toll? How much is the toll tax? Oh, okay. Um, I gotta have a passport to go to this country? Oh, okay. That's how it is um, in a lot of people in their thinking. I'm, I wonder what they think about me because they they validating um they valid they validating themselves through other people that's all i'm saying yeah i know it sounds deep and whatever but it's really simple only thing i'm saying with this traveling and embracing yourself living for yourself and not others embracing your loneliness recognizing that you are darkness recognizing that you don't exist in their space and time you can literally break free from space and time just by embracing what I just said. And guess what else? I, this is the fountain of youth. This is the fountain of youth. Maybe I should have saved that for another video title. But the fountain of youth is changing the way you think. See, a lot of the times why we age is because they told us that we was born 